Hello everybody, I'm Beta-Wolf, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. We have just vanquished the Nameless King, and now it's time to get back on here. And do a bit of leveling up as well, I think. Oh, in fact, let's take a look up at the end there again, just to see if there is anything for us. Oh, I don't want to die and lose these souls, so we've already been up there. I think we've got what we needed, so yeah, we will move on. Back to Firelink to get a bit of leveling done. That's the objective right now. And, um, yeah, bit of a start, a bit of a quicker start to this episode than last. I did spend last episode dilly-dallying, just giving you guys a bit of an update, because it was my first episode back after a little while, so... A couple of talking points there. Quicker start this time, we right on it. We are right on it. Oh my god. Should have taken that drink uh, in between last episode and this episode because I'm feeling it. Man, look at all the heads. It's crazy. Ashen one, if when thou peerest upon the first flame, thou wishest yet for a world without fire, for an end to the linking of the fire, then call upon me. I am a firekeeper, and I tend the flame to the very end. Thou hast given me eyes, and such it was they showed me. Hmm. <sighs> I always feel like these dialogues that we've been getting near the end of the game. Um. I'm, I can feel it's getting near. They've always been really interesting. They have been super, super intriguing to me, these dialogues. God, listen to her talking right there. If you can hear that. Super cool. Mace thou. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with where we were going before we ended up going to Arc Dragon Peak. Um, let's travel. Let's travel. Nothing there. Just want to make sure of that. Nameless King boss fight, the Great Belfry. Man, it's all just super cool. Things have really picked up nearer the end here as well. The climax has been real on this game for sure. And we're not right at the end yet, but, you know, as we've been reaching that, it's been... You know, it's really picked up. It's been awesome. It's been really heavy. Right. We don't want to end up there yet. We do need to go back to Ariandel at some point. I don't just want to jump back into another boss fight, though, after doing the Nameless King. I feel like... Hmm... Yeah, I want to go to the Earthen Peak Ruins, and I realise as well in the last episode that it makes... Uh, <laughs> it, I feel like sometimes it makes sense that... And there is, regardless of the, the situation, there is elements that actually... If you look closely, there are elements that do su to support this. Um, I said in the last episode that sometimes it makes sense that Dark Souls 2 comes after 3. And here we are looking at the Earthen Peak Ruins. Clap. How clever of me right there. Um, but no, there, there is there is some bits that do actually make sense that two comes after three. But I did also say that, um, there, you know, it does make sense that two comes before three as well, and you know, more notably so. Like, there is more sense that it makes going along that path. I reckon, but it's still interesting how you can come up with certain ideas by looking at how elements of the story is portrayed through the games. Very interesting. Time is convoluted as well and all that, of course, we can never forget that. And I, I love how that's one of the elements of Souls, man. 
I know it's become a bit of a meme, but I, I feel like that phrase... Hello. I feel like that phrase is, um... I know it sticks with me. Oh, it gives me the... Oh, it gives me the, the nostalgic tingles. I love it. Oh, my God. Time is convoluted. In Laudron. Or wherever you are. Yeah. I don't know. It's one of those things that... I've, has, has always hit me nicely. And it feels good. Anyway. Let's have a talk with this dude. This dude again. Is this the same guy that we spoke to back up in uh, the heap? Yes, it is, right? Oh, I know who you are. <laughs> Great to see you still in one piece. Come on. I can see why they call this the Dreg Heap at the World's End. Mangled remnants from every age and every uh, land. Oh my god. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumours that the ringed city rests below it all. Oh, the ringed city, eh? Ah, uh, <laughs> don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone. And I'm sick of old Humpty. I should stay quiet. Wait, I'll make it up to you. By letting you in on a secret of sorts. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower. Half submerged in a poisonous swamp. Oh my days. Not a very nice place to visit. Only there's precious treasure in the thick of the swamp. I didn't have any use for it, you see. So sorry, I, I left the whole package behind. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go nab it for yourself. I know who you are. A righteous warrior. Yes? With a solemn duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. Interesting. He's letting us in on a lot here. And he... Was that the guy that was further up, Drag Heap? I don't remember. I, I honestly don't. I feel, like it, I feel like it is. But I can't remember exactly. And his voice is certain. He's like oddly familiar. Huh. I don't know, man. Interesting. But he says he reckons the Ring City lives below... Well, not lives, but resides below here. Um, I guess resides may also not make sense there. But either way, um, it sits below this place. A tangled mass of all the ages, which is super cool. Hence the Earthen Peak ruins a situation. And... You know, bits of everything else that we've seen floating around here. The ash, the kiln, and... All that good stuff. We'll probably find more within this swamp that we go to below. Maybe remnants of a, a swamp from the previous games, i.e. Blight Town or something like that. Who knows? Um, very interesting. I wonder what is causing all that to happen. How it's all mashed up into one. Interesting stuff. Very intriguing. Now then, putting that aside and talking more about his character personality... I hope he's not trying to line me up for a trap here. I guess we'll see. But whatever happens, happens. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poisonous swamp. If I get the chance, I, I, I know. Well, grab that treasure. Okay, there we go. He's urging us on to grab it for ourselves. Ah, it's probably going to be the poison from Earthen Peak. It, it would make sense. Um. Yeah, we'll see. I'm sure the, the architect will let us know if it's looking familiar and whatnot, but... What the fuck? Oh. God, I was wondering what that noise was then, where that was coming from. I don't want to fight this guy. Pain. <laughs> I just want to talk, okay? Okay, so he's going to wait chilling up there. And, uh, yeah, depending on what swamp it is... I don't know, we'll see. Regardless, it's a swamp. It's probably going to be remnants of Earthen Peak and not Blight Town, but either way, that be that. And, God, that thing is gruesome, right? Listen to that thing. That belongs in Bloodborne or something. That style of creature. That's weird. Um, but he's urging us to go down and nab it. But if we don't get it, he says that, uh, you know, we'll go back and grab it himself. Whether he gives us some then or not, who knows, but... 
He's saying that we're welcoming, welcome to help ourselves to it if we want to go down there for it. So let's see. Let's see what awaits there. Hmm. I'm just looking up at the... Uh... I don't know why, but them walls up there. This case kind of remind... Wait. Look, I I'm just talking about these arches above my head and the walls literally above my head there. Like that kind of wall design. For whatever reason, the first thing I thought of was the depths. Seriously, the depths. Maybe that could be coincidental and now I'm looking into it too much following that dialogue about um, various ages being twisted together, but who knows. It does look like it though, right? I'm not going crazy. Super high up there as well. Great view. That is very interesting. But with that being said, enough dilly dallying. Let's move, ar move along. Oh my god, it's even attacking them. Oh, and that guy's running from it. That's wild, man. Man, it is just weird with random stuff scattered about the place. I think maybe as well, that's why... Oh my god, that was... I should have probably seen that coming. Oh my god. We're all missing. Okay, don't die here. Like, what's going on? I feel like I've got no stamina. <laughs> oh my god. Um, another point as well it's worth making is... I feel like... That's why there's loads of bonfires twisted and thrown all over the place here that we've seen. Um, it's because... Ooh. Desert Pyromancer Guard. Um, it's because of all the environmental stuff. From the ages being thrown here, there and everywhere. Alright. I don't want to stand outside too long with that thing going crazy at us. That guy's taking refuge inside as well. And it is weird. It's a super strange layout. Very imaginative, though, the way that they've done this. And you see the swamp. Yeah, that's... That's... That's Harvest Valley business, all right. Can you just let me explore the environment outside in peace? Sick of this dude. <laughs> oh my god. We don't want to get knocked off, but I'm too stubborn to, like... I must look around. Look at the view as well, yo! It is crazy. Oh my god. This guy is something. That guy is something special. Moving on. Moving down. Feel comfortable, extra comfortable again. Playing without a sh Oh, this guy's actually gonna follow me. You're gonna attack those shrooms as well? Please? Nope. Stop stalking me. He's following me all over the show. Desert Paramount stuff again. Very fresh. Die. Die. Got him. Moss clumps. I will gladly equip them. Uh, but what I was saying there is I feel extra comfortable without a shield uh, as well. Um, due to the fact that I've been playing a good bit of Bloodborne recently. I did uh, phrase that in the last episode too. But it is a, uh, it is a lot of fun. So that's, um, you know, warmed me up even more to the fact. I mean, we were already playing with a halberd and no shield anyway, I guess, but... Still, extra nice that we've got some more experience on Bloodborne with no shield. Which is only going to help us going through this feel, you know, a little bit more capable and comfortable. Uh, 
in that situation with no shield. Oh, whoa. Don't die. Oh my god. This guy's pissing me off. It's just so boring. Right. I need to get in range of this dude some somehow. I mean, that's not going to hit, but let's just test. Oh. I thought I heard... Oh my god! I thought I heard something big stomping around. Might as well remain poisoned because of uh, the nature of the area. Oh my god. Attack that one as well, yeah? One of these big old crazy dudes, uh, again I see, with a humanity looking face. And the tree effect on him. Oh my god. Titanite slab. Nice. Well, I was never going to dodge both of those. Oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's fine. We thought there was en that enemy nearer up the top of the heap as well, right? Super, super interesting design again, I will say, with all the, the tree stuff going on, the tree symbolism. And tree symbolism has had a lot of uh, exposure through all three Souls games in various shapes and forms. The way it's twisting around the belly of that character there, it's, I don't know, it's just kind of strange to see an enemy made up like that. Mm, especially with the face as well that I've touched on before as well, just all of it, it's... I wouldn't say it's unsettling, but it, it's extraordinarily unique in a very weird way. Dude, piss off. I hate this thing, whatever it is. Can I jump across there in any way? I don't know, whatever. I kind of want to go over the top of that side again, though. Like, up this way and over. Just to see if there's anything that we can... Uh... Oh god, don't fail. There we go. Yes, I knew there'd be something else there. Uh, a Titanite scale there as well. It's good that we uh, did die there, actually. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have ended up coming back and seeing this. Or grabbing the item back near the start again there, over there. So, nice to have. I'm sorry, it's probably going to be one of those areas where we just run because it's, uh, well, you understand. Oh god, that thing's coming out with a the poison there as well. Don't. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, in fact, I'm kind of getting to the point where I feel like I'm just not going to care if what I miss in this area and I'm just going to run through it. Okay. It's so tiring when you get an area like this. Curved sword of some kind. I did see it. I do like a, uh, a great curved sword. Like the... Uh, the Morokumo was always a lot of fun to me. I always really liked that one. was always a very fun weapon for me. Okay, let's move up these trees. They've stopped shooting as well. It's probably going to start any moment again when I come over here. Yeah, oh my god, he's turning around. 
<laughs> Listen to that screech, my god. Shut up. Great hollow vibage going on. Look at this. All the massive tree trunks. So awesome. What's going on? Oh! Okay. Where was that even coming from? One of those butterflies, like, excreting on me from up there or something? Building up curse. Oh my god, that hit hard. <laughs> okay, here comes the... Oh my god, I hope the chest is as good as in Dark Souls 2. Let's... Let's... Let her walk closer here. Have I got my back binoculars? Please? Please? Whatever. Yeah, they they still looking good. Desert Paramount Zoe. Don't be like that Zoe. Jesus, these two little rats. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh my god, that is one of the greatest characters in, in Souls for sure. The the sorceress from Harvest Valley. It's so damn good. <laughs> Look, I, I I know I said it a moment ago, but the chest is something special. And I know she's pixels, okay, but she's more than that. She's she's more than that to me. <laughs> Alright, it's time for speed run again. Speed run strats. Can we get up there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Nice. I was wondering how we'd get around to this. Winkled Titanite. A lot of um, varying Titanite droppage as well in these in this area it seems. And I am clawed up right now on this controller. I am ultra claw. Mm, what about that? Uh, we're not going to hang around this area to look though. I it just I can't I can't do it. Oh, I see you there, dude. I know he's going to climb up behind me. But, oh, we can pay the three. Yoink. Down we go. We got the slab from in there. No need for us to continue that way. We can just continue up here. Is he chilled out now? Nope. Trying to look up here as well just to see what was coming down on us. Above a head. Yeah, there was something above a head. Something that dropped that uh, stuff down on us and I can't see where it was. Unless they're referring to something else, which they very well could be. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Um, this area is interesting, though. I will give it that. It's it might be a little pain in the be a touch of a pain in the ass. Oh, of course we can get around like that by jumping on here. That's how we get above. Um, yeah, like I was saying, it might be a touch of a pain in the ass with a, with the bits of the poison going on, and most notably, in fact, those flying things. Um, Oh, you can get a god tier plunging attack there as well, right? There you go. Um, yeah, most notably with the flying things, they they take the piss. But um, I can't deny the coolness to the area. And look at that view again as well, as the trees like wrap around over it, like we feel like we're in a cage. It's kind of got that effect to this this view here, at least. The trees have got us encased from the outside, you know, world. From the sun. All that cool stuff. 
Man, this is weird. There's so many little intricate paths to take over here. Oh my god, what is that? What in the world is that? That thing's kind of camouflaged up against these trees here as well. Looking at the colour scheme and shape of it. Oh my god. God. Oh, that's an enemy? I thought it was going to be an NPC or something for a second that had befallen some terrible fate. What in the world is that? That is grim. Oh my god, no idea what... Oh. Oh, ah, that's how they kill them. That's how you kill them, so that's like their life force then. They're connected like that. Interesting, so this thing is like the hub, the brain that's controlling that thing. Or they just coexist in a part of the same life form, I guess. I don't know. Either way, very freaking strange. God knows, like... I was thinking, what befell that creature there? But it's actually tied up to that one. Weird. Let's continue up before we go and dance with our sexy sorceress lady again. Is there anywhere, anywhere else where we can go up here? Or do? I don't know. I think that's... Uh... That's the end. I can't quite see another way for us, I'm afraid. Yeah, down we go then. Back down onto this. And then onto this. And we good. Keeping it moving. A sippy cut. Souls. Much cleaner than last time. I got distracted by the boobs last time, let's be honest. Took care of that guy a lot quicker. And easier. And hopefully we can do the same with the two little rats. To be honest, I would be a slave for her like that as well. I really wouldn't mind. Yeah, you see, now, now that the boobs have worn off me, look at, how, look at how much simpler that really was. Okay, Zoe, let's go. Oh, yeah, whip me, baby. Oh, she's breaking out the combustion as well. Naughty girl. Okay, I'm going to stop goofing like that now. <laughs> That's a cool attack, though. Hey, that, those are the little feathers. Those are the... Oh, my God. Those are the flamey... Duster type. Not duster, but you know the... I don't know what they freaking called. That was the... Um... That flame attack there is happening in the shape of the... the things that they held in Dark Souls 2, right? Oh, don't do that. Oh, wow, she got iframes as well. I'm going to try and force a BS here. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You out now. Oh, you're going to fall. No, no, no. Yes. Oh, come on. How did that hit? And again, it's going to hit. No, it's not. I'm actually in trouble here. I'm going to end up freaking dying. No. Holy fuck. How have I suddenly just turned to shit? Don't you dare die to this. Please, Matt, don't. There's no fucking way that she's somehow up to her ability. Like, I, I will actually chop chomp a divine blessing here. I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. Give me that divine blessing. There we go. 
Like how? Fuck, fuck me. Oh my god, good night. <laughs> oh my god, that's right, on your knees. Flame fan, that's, yeah, like the fan, that, what did I call it earlier, a duster, that's it, no, the fan, that's what I was trying to say. The fan type things. Oh man. That was a fun fight though. Nice to uh, see that character again, I gotta say. What the heck's that noise? Something's causing the ground to tremble and dust to drop down. I just don't know where this thing is. Above me? Yeah, walking along this branch. This trunk. Oh, not you again. There's the Desert Pyro stuff again. I know I can hear it. You can hear it walking around, right? Or is it below? No. Sounds like a big thing, whatever it is. Is there a way to maybe... No? Okay. Alright, let's run over here and see what's going on. Fun fight against Zoe that was, though. I am, uh, most definitely glad. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh my god. Uh, no, I am most definitely glad that... Please tell me this was the right way to go. I don't know if it is or isn't or what. Oh my god. <gasps> yes, that's just what we needed. That's just what we needed. <laughs> Maybe a waste of divine blessings, but we never really end up using them anyway. Because they've got we've got too good to use syndrome with them. Um so you know what, that's totally fine by me. Turns out that's how we get that item. Ooh, and we get to lead around there. Okay, it looks like we're going lower. That's probably going to go to that Ring City place. Take a bit of a look over here again first. Okay, that's where we looked before. Is there anything off the edge here, though? Probably. Yeah, there probably is. It looks like there's some good stuff here. Because there's... Am I meant to go down there? Oh, there is a landing point, but... Let's take a look down here first. Maybe there's a bonfire of kind for us. To save us doing all that running around again. Wait, what the hell is that? What's that? Wait, oh, no, is that just a tree? Oh, no, there it is. What's that thing down there? It looks like... Oh, okay, is this a boss fight? We drop from there? Down into a boss fight down there? Is that for real? Look at that absolute void of a drop as well. <laughs> Look at that for an entrance. Welcome to hell. Basically. You walk along there and then drop. That's mad. Okay, I can hear this thing walking about. Turns out it was below us, maybe? I don't know. I just... Just in case. Let's just get a homeward bone. Not that it really matters, I guess, at the minute anyway. Yeah, screw it. I just can't make out where the walking's coming from. Alright, let's kill you. Hopefully these things don't respawn either. There you go. We heard that thing die all the way over there. Man, that sound is a, a nice callback. Feels good, man. Feels good. But look at that for a view, though. That jaggedy... Rocky entrance into a pit of hell. Just like a, a massive sinkhole down into a ne into the next layer of the earth. It's mad. I am still very intrigued about that stomping around though. Whatever it is. But on we push. 
on we push. Now, like I was saying before there as well, never finished what I was saying because I got distracted. That was a nice fight against Zoe. Fun little NPC encounter there. Uh, fun fight. Fun fight, I'd say. Very cool. But, uh, and yeah, I've got not got anything else to add to it. I've pretty much said everything else, I guess. But, um, yeah, was fun, was fun. Okay, where are we even going here? Are we meant to drop off this one as well? Uh, is this just a kill pit, seriously? I don't know. I guess this guy's gonna show us, right? <laughs> 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 oh my god, Dark Souls, I love it. It's kind of extremely strange orientation to the screen here as well with the way that everything's positioned and stuff, the clouds there as well, like how high up are we right now as well and basically standing at the edge of the world. Mad. Oh. Oh, how do we get over there? So maybe you, yeah, just drop down from that bit and across you go. All right. Yeah, no, this is super fun. It is interesting. Um, we, we are getting on in the episode now, but I want to at least take a dive into that pit uh, before we stop this video and move on to the next one. Time for revenge. That's right. I understand that comment now. Time for revenge. And pointless ahead. <laughs> it's not pointless. There's always a reason into something. There is a reason of why that is there. It shows you how to get to that other item. Which, beforehand, we didn't even know was there. Would it, will it have been possible to see what, that item there at another point? Probably. But that's just given us a second chance. And it's allowed us to take a look at a beautiful view. Not pointless, dude. Not pointless. And as I was saying there, I understand them comments now. And why it was at the foot of the last one. Time for revenge. Yep. Kill that big ass fool. What the heck is that, by the way? I'm, I'm really worried and wondering what that is. I, I think you can actually jump into it this way by the looks of things, right? May, have I got enough? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough girth on my jump to, make, to be able to make that. Yeah, no, let's go back. Let's walk back. Oh, okay, I think that stomping is just those big dudes that we died to earlier when we grabbed that Titanite slab. Just inside the, the, the cliff face, inside the cave there. Um, yeah, that does actually make a lot more sense. Inside the swampy stuff. Oh, no, it's not because it's... That's all the way over there. And it's happening down there. We saw something clip through the house. Huh. I don't know. Either way, whatever it is, it is what it is. Right now, I'm going to home with Bone. Hopefully those things don't respawn. And we will take a look. We'll take a look at the boss thing. Oh, well, I'm assuming it's going to be a boss pit down there. It does kind of look like the, uh, the setup that you find. And in fact, you know what? I think we'll actually end the episode here and kick off the start of next episode with that. Uh, I feel like that's about right. Been a fun episode uh, yet again. We are at, four, well, 39 minutes right now, so yeah, good time to end. Um, very fun episode, exploring a very strange and interesting area. Um, found out that it's basically due to the fact that it's a combination of all the ages, and, you know, you can certainly see why and how that is when you look at what's going on here. Interesting dialogues from this guy. We've had fun, we've had more fun uh, moving through the drag heap again here, a little deeper. And we're just trying to work our way onto the ring, sir. Super fun. Uh, it's very intriguing, that's for sure. And I can't wait to continue again in the next episode. But that pretty much wraps up this one, folks. Thank you very much for watching as per usual. We'll leave the NPC chilling over there. And, um, yeah, it's been a very fun one. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, thanks again, and goodbye. See you next time.